Hello YouTube, this is my uh, first attempt at a hobo stove or a penny stove or more, popularly known as. It's just the bottom portions of two empty cans, pop cans or beer cans. Put together, you drill one large hole in the center there where the penny sets. That's where your fill hole is. You can fill it with fuel. I'm using rubbing alcohol. Here's my rubbing alcohol. Uh, most people use uh, gas line antifreeze heat. Uh, Everclear will work. Um, denatured alcohol, which you can find in your paint thinner uh, shelf of your paint department, your hardware store. That'll work also. But uh, I'm, I got about three ounces in there, and so far it's about 25 minutes burn. I have 11 jet holes, burn holes drilled. And it remains pretty cool to the touch. It's hot, but I mean, you can touch it. So it's nothing nothing dangerous. I got my hand on it right there. I mean, it's hot. You can't hold your hand there very long, but for it being on fire, it stays pretty cool down there. And you can uh, you could definitely cook on this inside once you learn how to ignite it safely. The first few times I had to ignite this, it didn't go very well. Luckily, I was outside, so no harm done because I was outside. But once you learn how to do it, you could do it inside and you could cook on it. If your power was out and you had no other way to cook food, you could cook on it. Or if you were in a survival situation outdoors and you had a lot of wet, punky wood, you could ignite this easily with a spark or a lighter. And you could dry out kindling or your punky wood or whatever and get a fire going. It could help save your life. So, I'm doing it just for fun, but heck, you never know. It could help save my life sometime.